Welcome to a new video from Aleshop and today I'm going to tell you how a current lamp works and what you need to think about when you're buying a current lamp. A current clamp is an electrical device that can be used to measure alternating current and direct current flowing through a cable or wire. They're often used for monitoring and quality control to ensure current is flowing and flowing at the correct magnitude. Current clamps are great for measuring the currents of cables you cannot disconnect. For instance, when you're measuring currents, you have to place a multimeter in series within your circuit. In addition, the use of a multimeter in series can cause a very small voltage drop, since inside the multimeter there is a very small resistance. A current clamp does not cause such a voltage drop. However, current clamps overall have a lower accuracy compared to portable digital multimeters and bench multimeters. Current clamps have an accuracy of plus minus 1 or 2 percent, while digital multimeters have an accuracy of plus minus 0.5% or lower. So current clamps are not advised for very precise measurements. The method of measuring alternator current is different compared to measuring direct current. AC clamp meters use the principle of a current transformer. The wire that is being held by the jaws of the current clamp can be seen as the primary current of the transformer. The secondary winding is located inside the jaws of the current clamp. Due to a changing magnetic field from the alternating current on the primary side, a current is induced in the secondary winding, which is a current proportional to the primary current. Measuring direct current is impossible using the current transformer principle, because the magnetic field from the wire is constant, so there is no magnetic flux. Therefore, no current is induced in the secondary winding. To be able to measure DC, inside the jaws there is a sensor located in a small air gap of the core that is used to measure the Hall effect. The Hall effect is the production of a voltage difference across an electrical conductor when a magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the current. Cheap current clamps cannot measure DC current most of the time because they miss the extra components needed to measure DC. Adding components like a Hall effect sensor make a current clamp more expensive. But now when you want to buy a current clamp there are certain things you need to think about. First of all, what do I need to measure? Do I need to measure DC, AC or both? Furthermore, the accuracy of the clamp is very important. Also, you need to know if you want to measure one wire or more cables at the same time. Because when you're holding multiple wires, you're measuring the sum of currents of each wire that are held by the jaws of the current clamp. For instance, when you're measuring the power cord of a device, you would think a current would show up on the display of the current clamp. But we overlook something here. Inside the power cord of a device, the current flows through the live wire towards the device and returns through the ground wire in opposite direction towards the power socket. So when you measure the total sum of the two wires with the same orientation I mentioned before, you will measure 0 amperes. And finally, when you're measuring AC current, you would maybe also need to take harmonics into account. These harmonics influence the total current you're measuring and have an effect on the total power. So, these are important for power measurements. For a good price, you can already get a current clamp. Take, for instance, this Unity UT210E. For a fairly cheap price, you can already measure all the basic things you would use a current clamp for normally. Or take, for instance, this Bramman BM037. This current clamp has a nice notch for holding cables has quite big measurement ranges and also has a lot of functionalities already for a pretty good price. So to summarize, current clamps are a very useful tool for measuring the currents of cables without disconnecting the cables, but they have a lower accuracy than portable digital multimeters and bench multimeters. I've explained in detail how the principles of AC and DC measurements work with a current clamp. 
And I've mentioned several things you need to think about before buying a current clamp. I hope you have learned more about how a current clamp works and made you think what you can do with a current clamp. So I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you at the next video.